All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh yeah. Every day's a new day. The fullness of Jesus has come to us. And he's alive in us. Oh yeah, baby. Just like that, sweetness. Just like that. Oh, it's a beautiful fall day. I had to go back to bed because I hope this. I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I just didn't have enough sleep, I guess. So I slept some more. Feeling much better. Getting back to it. Oh, yeah, baby. And uh, my, my lower back's hurting a little bit. So we're going to have to watch what we do today. We don't want to injure it further. In fact, every time I think about that, I always think about, you know, the, the uh, I think it's Philippians 4.13, where it says he, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. No, we can't. <laughs> we can do a lot of things. We can exceed our expectations, but we can't do all things, honey. I mean, I cannot bench press this car. I just, you know, as... <laughs> and you might say, oh, that's ridiculous. No, because at some point you have to draw the line where <laughs> what you're <laughs> attempting to do is actually possible. Yes, God can do the impossible things. Yes, I know that. Like, if you had to lift the car because somebody was underneath it, that kind of thing. Yes, I know. But you're not going to all of a sudden get signed up with the NBA because you can do all things in Christ. Okay. <laughs> not all of a sudden going to become a lawyer, you know, because you don't like to read. <laughs> Hello, people. And I say that not to make fun, but just to bring some logic into how we look at things, especially the Bible. We have to, it's just back to the paradox, baby. You cannot get away from paradoxes. People say, well, all you have to do is have faith. Oh, really? Well, what are you going to do when you can't love and all you have is faith? Oh, I believe in God, but I hate all those white people. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> you need more than faith, honey. You have to balance everything out. And guess what? The good news is it's already been balanced out. It's all perfected in Christ. He's got all the right measurements, the percentages, the proportions, the equanimity, the balance of love and faith and reason and joy and power and anointing and creativity. Oh yeah, baby. It's all balanced in Jesus, honey. We're all good. Oh yeah. We are ready to go. Oh. Oh yeah. I love it, don't you? Oh baby, you better love it. What else are you gonna love in your life, honey? If you can't love that. <laughs> so what you want to do is ask and receive because you know you ask something that is reasonable. Not crazy. I'm going to be president of the United States at the next election. No, something reasonable, baby. Oh, yeah. 
God will meet you and show you what he can do. Which might mean not doing biceps today because it puts the pressure on the lower back. So I have to know that limitation, honey. Oh, yeah. Just not going to go, oh, I'm in Christ. I can do all things. Oh, I broke my back. Where was God? <laughs> God was right there, baby, trying to give you uh, some some uh, advice and being smart. All right, I'm going to lower these windows because we have a few more minutes. And I love to feel the breath of God on me. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, lover. Thank you, thank you. Sweet Jesus. So what else is there, sweethearts? There are colors, there are feelings, there are activities. Ah, we release it to the world, Lord, that people would know you and feel you today and grow in new ways. Think like they've never thought before. There's a good one. Um, the pe people who say there's, you know, like thought is a negative thing. What? What kind of mushrooms have you been ingesting? How are you going to know how to avoid an accident if you don't think? Oh, it looks like an accident's about to happen. It's a good thing I don't need to think because thinking is bad. <laughs> Come on, people. Stop the nonsense. I'm telling you, atheists are within their rights to, to reject Jesus based on what they see stupid Christians doing. Oh, yeah. Not all Christians are stupid, but I'd say a good, good, a good amount of them. At least half. Oh yeah, baby. You ever wonder how, when you look in someone's eyes and it looks like they're really present and loving and just so interested in what you have to say. And they're just like, oh my God, am I looking into the eyes of God? What is this? And then it turns out, you know, they're an atheist. What is that? What is that exactly? That's God bringing the light out. So like we could recognize God's light. Well, how can God's light be in an atheist? Well, we're all creations of God. And we're all doing the best we can with what we have. And at one point, you were not a believer. But are you going to say, before you became a believer, you were just nothing but a dark hole <laughs> didn't you love your children didn't you look at them lovingly you know God is in a lot of places that we we don't recognize because we're busy judging oh I'm a devoted one of God I am chosen by God so let me change the world so they can be like me <laughs> When you're looking at an atheist who's doing better than you are. Oh, yeah. So what does that mean? We don't need God for... For a, a full life? No, it just means God arrives when we're able and emerges in greater proportion the closer we get to the truth and the ultimate truth is found in the cross and resurrection of Jesus. That's it. So go love an atheist, would you please? <laughs>